Hello, greetings to everyone. Happy Monday and welcome to episode three of October series with Timuria. Today we are going to talk about bitterness. Bitterness. So before we go into the video, please be sure to like this video, be sure to share and, and also to subscribe. So we are going to talk about bitterness today. And before we head into it, just have a little break. Welcome back. Welcome back. So, um, I'm going to read scriptures from the book of Hebrews, chapter 12, verse 14 and 15. It's under the heading that says, warning and encouragement. So, verse 14 says, make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one falls short. Of the grace of God and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. You heard it. We read in verse 14. It says, Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. To be holy. For without holiness, no one will see God. I don't know how you are going to take this, but this is a bitter truth of the word of God. It is the truth. And it might be painful. And even if it's painful, it doesn't mean that it's not the truth. So without your holiness, no one will see God. At least I just want to make sure that at the end of this video, if you are somebody that also you, there is no holiness in your life, if you and me, we don't have holiness in, in, in our lives, even me as I'm talking here, I also want to, I'm also speaking to myself. I'm not only talking to you guys, I'm also speaking to myself. So if we find out that there is no holiness in our life, it's, it's not for us to think and say, how can I just, how can one just be holy? Yes, you can be holy. The word of God says it, that if you are not holy, it, without holiness, no one will see God. And because God is holy, we should also be holy because we are serving him. We are here to represent him on earth. We are representing, we are the representatives of God. If somebody wants to see God, they need to see us at least so that they can have an idea of what God is, of who God is, of the characters of God. Our characters, behaviors, the way we speak, the way we see things, the way we talk to others, need to represent christ so if christ is holy we should also be holy so it says see to it that no one falls short of the grace of god and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile men understand if somebody is bitter this person is always angry the the person is always negative, being negative to just about everything. There's no positivity in them. They don't see anything good in people. They don't, they choose the people that they want to like and want to associate with or, you know, depends on what their preferences is. The Bible is telling us that we should see to it that nobody falls short of the grace of God and that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. Bitter people are always in any way trying to defile others or they always just want to pull a lot of other people onto their side. So if you're the one, if you are the one, give it up already. Number one, it's not healthy. Now, it doesn't give you peace. And it robs you of your peace. It robs you of your joy. You, 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 you don't. It robs you of your associations. 
it robs you of everything being bitter is a sickness being bitter is a sickness guys it hurts people you be able, you you might just hate people because of your bitterness and most of the time even even i'll go through youtube and i'll watch people's videos i'll go through the if there is a part that i like mostly on, on when i'm watching youtube videos it is a comment section you already find some some comments and you don't know the person you you even don't know the person that is making the video you don't know the person that is commenting but the person that is commenting you can tell by their comments that they are so full of bitterness the hate is too much you understand sometimes you are hating on somebody that you don't even know just because you are watching their video so give up on being bitter give up on being bitter and invite god to come into your life the bible is warning us here apply holiness in your life let go of all this bitterness all this pain all this negative energy this negativity this desire of just wanting to answer people anyhow you feel like you don't regard you don't regard their feelings you don't think of how they are going to feel about it no you can't be like that you cannot be like that you can't be like that you need you need to change and invite as well invite invite God also a good thing about I like about God is about praying is you can actually come to God the way you are you can tell God the way you exactly feel it in your heart in your mind if you are bitter tell God God I'm bitter I've been bitter for so long and bitterness is destroying me I'm tired of it I don't want it I want to let go of it so help me God hey, that is the meaning of surrendering. That is the meaning of surrender. If you surrender to God, that means you are completely giving up everything and acknowledging, accepting that you are unable to do it on your own. You are unable on your own. It's only God that is able. So when you surrender, you totally leave it into the hands of God. So all these kind of things, give it to God. Let go of it. It doesn't do you any good it's not it is robbing you of so many things so ask god for help he will help you and he will come through for you so with this being said thank you guys for watching this video until this far please be sure to like share and also subscribe to this this youtube channel help me grow i am trying I'm trying so much and at this point also i just don't want to focus on the growth i want to focus really on on reaching to people I come here to for us to encourage one another and also if you feel like you want to participate in this you can also just let me know so that we can see as to how we should go about that with that being said guys like I said earlier be sure to like share and subscribe don't forget that is very important do not forget to subscribe it is very very important yes so as I bless you so bless me with a subscribe but by subscribing as well liking sharing and commenting so thank you so much for watching and with that being said we are going to pray heavenly father in the name of jesus christ i come before you god and i just surrender myself and all my viewers and your hands everybody that have with viewed this video god if there is some bitterness going on in their life god if they do not have the peace because bitterness has 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 taken over God, I pray that you give them the peace. I pray, Father, that you just heal them and enlighten the bed and God. Take away the bitterness from their hearts, mighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ. You are God, full of peace, full of love. Therefore, God, replace all that with every good thing that comes from you, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. And help us, oh God Almighty, to always speak positivity, to always speak uh, good things upon our days, God, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen.